What's up guys, how you doing? This is Philip Start and welcome to part three of my Lombok series. So as you remember in the first and second episodes we installed Lombok for Eclipse. Second episode we used getter and setter to generate the getters and setters for fields. Well in this example what we want to do is look at the hash code and equals and say yeah, let's remove them. How do we do that? Well it's so simple. Let's go ahead and do it. So you want to wipe these out equals and hash code. Now, unless you need a specific implementation of equals and hash code that's uh, very specific, then you wouldn't want to do this. And maybe that's your use case. That's totally fine. So what you can say is equals and hash code. Boom, done. That's how simple it is. And as you see in this um, annotation, if I download, if it downloads here, it might not. Generates implementations for equals and hash code methods inherited by all objects based on relevant fields. So that's cool. What else do we see in here? Well, we can exclude fields. We can use off. So that's pretty cool. So we want to list the fields used for identity. Um, we want to call super. So you get all these methods. Do not use getter. So all of these extra methods that you can use, but in most cases, equals and hash code is fine. I know that the likes of different libraries offer different equals and hash code implementations, and maybe you want to use them instead, that's okay. So that's equals and hash code, and that's, that's as simple as it is. So I hope you guys uh, subscribe to the series, I hope you enjoyed this, and stay tuned for episode number four.